Uh, Ken, Ken, having seen the Thunderbirds, even though he's restricted in this this interstate, good lord, Ken, what are you doing? Gets all fired up. He gets crazy. He gets googly eyed. But you can't do these things. Oh my God, he's lost an Emeron, ladies and gentlemen. You need two Emerons to be able to fly the airplane, Ken. Kent Beach in this, uh, well, most of an interstate cadet, a 1942 airplane that he's restored meticulously, gets crazy seeing all the aerobatics all weekend long, comes to show off this beautifully restored airplane, and starts thinking he can do all this stuff. Kent, for the does it, do we have any radio communication with him at all? I think he just pulled his maps out. Okay, so now he does, that's that's all his navigation stuff. Up he oh my god, look at that. Up and over the top. And you now remember he's 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 lost an aileron. And yet he still has a considerable control of this airplane. The ailerons need to push one wing up or bring it down to help roll the airplane, and he's, he's minus one. And now awfully low, one wheel in the dirt, and up he goes! Hey Jason, you enjoying the show? Back on the power, I can't take a look at God. Yeah, but that guy just lost one of his wing pads. Well, it's all great. Now he's lost a wheel. Oh, dear. Kent, we can only hope at this point, he's turned the radio off, he's playing sound effects. Kent, just nice and level, give us a nice look at the airplane, that's it, beautiful Kent, there we go, get him down on the ground there, no, 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 Kent, no, oh, dear. <laughs> Oh. He's not going to be the only one. I guess, where are you going, Ken? Don't leave the Thunderbirds alone, Ken. They get him crazy. He gets all gunned up. He never had a slot in the Embers. You see, this is, this is what happens. He's living with regrets. It's all building up inside of him. He just can't deal with it. He never had a shot at the Air Force. You know, basically taught himself to fly, as you can see. Well, it's dangerous. Well, and he's, uh, he's uh, still working on it. Down, down and up again. This, remember now, this is a 1942 Interstate Cadet, folks. It is not built. Look at him wagging the tail. What's that now? Toilet paper. He did win himself. Well, I said, yes. David fairly dated Letterman's on board with him. <laughs> What's going on with that? <laughs> Kent Beach. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm going to have an accident here if he doesn't land very shortly. All right, Kent, he'll give you a nice look at the airplane now. If he can just nice and level and... You know, but no, of course not. Up he goes again, and over he goes again. You see, he's trying all the controls there, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, dude, the plane looks beautiful, though, doesn't it, folks? Oh, dear. I cannot get over the fact that there's an aileron missing on this airplane that he still has this kind of control. I'll at least handle that. Even if I do feel like falling down and assuming the fetal position and crying. Airmanship is one thing, but there are rules, Ken. Don't turn over now. Easy done it. I'm not feeling well myself. I need to go, and I can't go now. Would somebody bring me a washroom? I can't leave. I need, this is, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna wet myself. Someone please bring me a washroom quick. I can't get to the, I can't leave the get-out stand with him doing this kind of stuff. Could someone please bring me a washroom? Oh! Obviously somebody else ate at the mess last night. Oh! What is this? I said lickety split and fast, but good lord! Rick, Rick, there we go. Rick, we've got one coming for you, buddy. Thank you. Wow. That's, uh... Oh! Rick, are you already in there? No. <laughs> I don't think I want to use it after this guy. Gives a tonic. Good lord! <laughs> Oh, look at there's a Oh, jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing is the world's only jet-powered porter john professionally oh, called... <laughs> We've all felt that way, haven't we? <laughs> At least once in our lives. Affectionately called the Porto Jet. Paul Hot Rod Stender apparently is in there. John, the options include a thousand horsepower jet engine. Kent Peach throwing more toilet paper at him. That's very good. Hopefully, made of asbestos. Now we got to tell you that Paul. Loves to put jet engines in just about anything. Like you need to be told that right now. <laughs> he has a jet-powered school bus. He has a jet-powered ATV. Ken Peach uh, flying the. You get a, a, a wave, folks. I'll let you know a little something. Like they haven't figured it out yet. Ken is one of the most amazing pilots on the planet. He's an airline pilot. I won't tell you after seeing this which airline because you don't want to know that right now. Ken Peach is an amazing pilot. To be able to do what he was doing with one aileron, if there's any pilots or engineers who could explain what was going on to you there, listen to what they have to say because that is truly amazing. He is going to come back later this afternoon and take that airplane up to